All right, guys, it's day 28. And guess what? We don't have any propane in the camper. Yay, us. And it's really cold outside. It's 19 degrees. Now, I'm not concerned about us, personally. It's more of the fact that when stuff gets cold, pipes start freezing and breaking, and then in the spring, you got, like, a, a situation on your hands. So anyways, we're off. Me and Joshua here, he's helping me today. Let me show you a little of the outside, just how much snow's going on. I mean, we're talking, it's a white, not Christmas, because it's not Christmas time. But it's cold, and there's a grip of snow, and there's a lot of it, and everything's frozen. And it's still snowing, and it's like two o'clock. So, we are off to find us some heaters. That's the adventure for today. And we're gonna see if we can bump the temp up here into at least 60 degrees so that some pipes start thawing. And I mean, we're talking like minimal water. Like that, that should be flowing out pretty heavy. But it's not concerning. I'm concerned. Nicole's over at work today. So hopefully she's safe on the roads. And here we go, off to get some heaters. All right, we got our first heater from Joshua actually, from his dad. It's one of these little space heaters. I put it on the grill so it stays away from the ground and it has this bump shield just in case. I got nothing around so nothing can get cooked. And remember, you don't wanna put it up on a table because you're gonna have a lot of heat just hitting right here. So if it's way on the ground, it disperses it before it ever hits here, if that makes sense. Kinda makes sense, hope so. And then we're gonna be off to get, oh, and I opened up this here these so then the heat can actually get pulled in here pull up the pipe some and later I might even turn on the radio uh, the furnace just to circulate the air not even for not to heat up the air just to circulate so we can get it in the back room all right we got two more heaters we're gonna go get them out of the car so here we go an oil filled radiator and they're a lot safer than space heaters typically because there's no open flame no open heat, no open coil. Um, it just heats up the oil inside the fins and it disperses it. So, here we go. And I swipe these from my good buddy Noah. Ah, ooh, still hot. Don't get burned. After I swipe the other one from Joshua. So, we're gonna set these up inside. <laughs> now, I'm only doubling these up because like I said, I just want to take care of all this uh, cold pipe situation just right off the get-go. Tracking in the snow. Pretty straightforward, right? Not a whole lot to them. Uh, they do have a thermostat. Controlled heat temperature and all that good stuff. So, let's hook one in and I'll show you just how quiet they are. So, I'm texting Nicole's dad, telling him how this works. Just so, because you know it's his camper and everything, so I just wanted to be uh, ease of mind. And take a look at this. We were just at uh, 30 degrees on the temp gauge here. Let's see if it'll focus. And it has already gone up. You can't see it. It's already almost at 50 degrees, which is insane. This thing's only been on for like 20 minutes. These, on the other hand, don't really emit so much extreme heat. So what I'm gonna do with this is just so we can fluctuate a little. I don't necessarily want it on the carpet, but I think I'm gonna put it right here, right in front of the, the doorway. Put our laundry basket here. Put this right here. I do like to keep a buffer zone, a couple feet around everything, because you just don't know, you know? Might have a little, generate a little more heat than we're looking for. Plug this dude in, and you don't want to plug it on the same one that you're running the other one. So I'm not gonna plug it into the same outlet that I'm plugging this one into just so it doesn't create a huge current draw. They are both 1500 watts uh, max output. So let's see, I got a plug in right behind you guys here. Plug it in, take an eyeball at it. So you just set the temperature, I'm gonna max it out and I'm gonna set it on level three for now just to get this dude warmed up. And it's ready to rip, that's it. Now, like I said, don't forget, Anything with pipe behind it, open up your cabinet doors just so the heat can get flowing. I'm gonna open up the bathroom. So now we got some hot, some hot air, it's gonna flow. I'm gonna open up the bathroom, drawers underneath. All right, well, it's the end of the day and we stopped at the thrift store, scored Joshua 
he's behind the camera. He scored this, he found this epic little heater. And when I mean epic, I mean like epic. We got high, medium, low, just fan, thermostat. It looks like a speaker. It's got, I mean, it's just creative. Look at this, it's got a, a built-in uh, dust thing. It's got a fan. I don't even know, man, it's got it all. Check this out. Oh, by the way, okay, just so all you folks see just how efficient that these bad boys are, take a look at the temperature. It's ridiculous. We just walked in. I mean, we're cooking with electricity. I don't know if you can, what is that reading, Joshua? 80, 79, 78 degrees? It's cozy. Let's just say that. Here, take a look. Let's see if we got any water issues. Let's see if it solved our problems. Oh, flowing like it's supposed to flow. That's, that's where it's supposed to be. So, anyways, I hope that helps anybody out there that's got motorhome problems. Don't use your propane, just go get electric, you know. Keep it at like 65 degrees if you don't wanna to have to pay a huge power bill. Let's plug in this little monster. It's definitely warm enough in here. We can close all these cabinets now. But look at this beast. Just because I know you guys can't see the power of the wind. Let me demonstrate just how much. Okay. So we're going to turn it to high. We're going to turn it to high heat. Look at this thing, the output. Okay, maybe not as strong as I thought, but still really strong. <laughs> you can cook a marshmallow on that. All right, that's the end of the day, folks. End of vlog, see you tomorrow.